Hello. Hello, you two. Boom. Fuck it. Ugh. I'm like her. <laughs> My flowers, <sighs> my beauty, <laughs> my beauty, my beauty. <laughs> okay, well. You know what I'm, you know what I'm going to do that's just as bad, if not, is even worse than Logan Paul tasing two dead rats. I'm going to do some shit that is worse than that. Now, you just hold on one second, honey. Delicious. <laughs> I wonder what could be worse than the Logan Pop tasering to the rats. <laughs> Logan Pop is a horrible, horrible man person. He tased two, not just one. But two dead rats. How could he? Oh, this chicken's really good, by the way. It's delicious. It's not like I'm a hypocrite or anything, right? No. Mashed potatoes. Mm. Man, I haven't eaten this meal in a while. I usually get the one with the macaroni in it. That one's good. I like that one. Uh, and now those chicken tenders. I love me some chicken tenders. I love me some chicken nuggets. Oh man, I'm going to hell. You know, I've been thinking about wanting to go vegan because I don't even eat like beef or like pork. Well, I prefer not to. But I don't really like that meat. I usually just eat poultry. So I thought it would be easier for me if I went vegan. But I don't know. I eat a lot of cheese and I drink a lot of milk and... I get sick when I don't, so I know that's weird. I I heard from someone that I think Onision or somebody that it's better to eat the foods that you grew up with because that's what your stomach got accustomed to. Like I didn't grow up eating like lettuce or leaves or you know I didn't eat fish because I didn't. I chose not to eat fish because I always thought I was a mermaid when I was a kid. So I never ate fish because fish are friends, not food, you know. I don't eat that sushi. <sighs> not ever since I heard that Pablo song from Miley Cyrus. It just makes me feel bad. I would never eat fish or sushi. The last time... I tried to eat a lettuce. I was at Olive Garden and I didn't like it. 
I mean, I liked it, but my stomach didn't like it. It ruined my entire appetite. That was like one of my first lettuces, kind of, or my second, you know. It was like last year. And when I ate it, I could literally like feel the lettuce alive inside my stomach. It's like eating a worm, you know. It was like sliding down the tube of my stomach, whatever it's called. I could feel it still alive, you know. Imagine swallowing a worm and it, you can still feel it wiggling around alive inside you. That's how it feels like. So, after that, I couldn't eat my fucking, my, my meal. And I went home with a full meal. Because that's how bad it was. Hell no. I am definitely not, um, called a herbivore. I am not a herbivore. I'm an omnivore. That's what humans are meant to eat. Humans are meant to eat fucking meat. You know why? Because everything that we eat was fucking once alive. So you can't go in your life mostly without eating something that was once alive. It's going to be dead. You're, gonna, you're eating something that is dead. So that's how it's going to be. You know? Blah, blah, blah. I mean, why do you, you know, I know some people don't have them. But that's why I have these canines. Because, bitch, they, I was meant for eating meat. That's what it's for, you know. Eh. I guess I'm not eating that much. But I guess you can call this a mukbang. 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 <laughs> Mm. Oh, hell yeah. I used to have trouble, like, swallowing soda. Until, like, this year, kind of. Because my whole life, I've been drinking, the soda is too spicy for me to swallow. I swallow it and my eyes just turn red and I burn a lot, you know, it makes me bloated when I swallow it with all the carbon in it, but I've been practicing, you know, I just started drinking soda again and it's a, it's a sport, you know, sassy. You have to keep drinking it to be able to finish it, you know? You have to practice drinking it. Because when, when I started out drinking this... Shut the fuck. When I started... Hold on. When I started drinking this shit, um, I could not finish, not even halfway. So, now when I drink it, I finish, like, at least 75% of the drink. So, it's been a few months since I've, I've been practicing drinking the soda. You know, the carb carbohydrates. Or um, whatever. I heard that this makes people fat. What this makes me feel like... It makes me feel... Like... I get really hyper and then it makes me really tired. Um, I don't know. Yeah. It's better to drink water because... Um, it makes your brain feel cooled down. It like evens your brain. Like if you're if you're grumpy or if you're like dehydrated and you have a headache. Like that's what it does. It cools it cools down your brain. 
When you drink a lot of water? When I stop drinking water, I turn into a fucking bitch. That's what happens. So, I drink water so I won't die. The other day, I forgot to bring water, a water bottle with me when I went to my friend's house. And I ended up having a panic attack because I was so thirsty at the end of the day. Like, you know, I don't know. You know, it was lit, and so I was having a panic attack because I wanted water. I didn't even know. So it was my body reacting on its own. And I started crying. Shit, my friend got me some water. And I calmed down. I was like, I was breathing like, uh, like I was a fish or some shit. Because I was fucking thirsty, dude. No fuck no. Hell no. No, the panic attack, though. I used to have panic attacks growing up, and then it just kind of started coming back, I guess. I don't know. I don't really have that much anxiety, or maybe I think I don't, but I probably do. I don't know. Damn. I'm not very good at knowing myself sometimes, but if there's one thing I'm sure of is that I'm fucking sure of myself. So, you know, it's a give or a take, whatever. When... Uh, when I would drink soda, the way I used to drink it, right, right, uh, the way I used to drink it, I would get it like this, I'll put, I would put it in my mouth. And I would shake out all the bubbles, cause, uh, you know, I I liked it. I liked drinking flat soda. But since I've been practicing how to swallow the bubbles in the soda, I've learned how to uh, belch or whatever from the soda. You know, you get used to it. So I'm pretty sure that shaking a soda through my teeth and my mouth for all those years did not do very good damage. But I did not, I did not grow up drinking a lot of soda. You know, it was always there, but I chose not to drink it because it was too. I couldn't fucking drink it, dude. You know, but I would drink like. You know, chocolate milk or water or juice. That's about it, dude. You know? But yeah, that's the story of the soda. Now I can drink can after can. There's a fly in here. There's a, ho a horse fly flew in here the other day through my window. It's fucking huge. I don't think it's figured out how to get out, though. I think it's stuck in here. Me th I mean, I'm the same way, dude. I'm gonna say bye. If you wanna see me fuck around, do some more bullshit, like this video. And subscribe today. Subscribe now! Do it now! Because I see ya. I know you're watching me. So you better subscribe, home Before I shoot you. Sippy, sippy. <laughs> oh, my stomach.
Holy shit. <laughs> I'm done. Bye.